The Y equals editor is much more than a place to generate a graph. When you define a function in this space, you can use it in other areas. Substitute values into a function. Or use the numerical solve option. The Y equals editor can hold up to 10 equations at a time. Sometimes it's handy to have a bundle of equations stored away. The draw menu is home to a wonderful tool called the Graphical Database, or GDB for short. A graphical database can be used to populate the entire Y equals editor and window settings all at once. In this first example, a probability density function has been stored in Y1. Y2 holds the expression for the expected value of x. Y3, the expected value of x squared. So Y4 holds the expression for the variance and Y5 the standard deviation. The equation for the PDF can be changed or updated, so too the terminals A and B. Let's have a look at another graphical database. This one is holding 10 equations. Notice also that the window settings were updated. To create a graphical database, go back to the draw menu Select Store, then Store GDB. Use the Variables menu to select the desired graphical database, and then press Enter. The trickiest part is remembering what you have stored in each one. But stay tuned to see how this can be done with a group file. In the previous tip, you may have noticed some calculus being used. While the TI-84 Plus CE does not have a computer algebra system, it can graph the derivative of a function. We start by entering the desired function in Y1. In Y2, we use the numerical derivative to determine or calculate the gradient for all values of x. We can then change the function in Y1 and Y2 will automatically update. Stay tuned to see how we can speed up the graphing process. Graphs are created by plotting points. When there are a lot of graphs, or a lot of calculations, the graphs may appear relatively slowly. We can speed this process up by changing the X resolution in the window settings. I'll adjust mine to an X res of 3, and let's add a second derivative to the previous graph. The graph appears relatively quickly. Sometimes you may want to zoom in on a specific section of a graph. But when you're done, you need to go back to where you were before. Zoom previous is just like an undo, allowing you to go back to your previous window. The zoom store option takes this one step further. You can store your favorite window settings, let's say, for a trigonometric function. And any time you're graphing a trigonometric function, you can use the zoom recall.
lists are often used to store data. But you can do much more. Let's store the numbers from 1 to 10 in list 1. Now you can generate a family of straight line graphs using the list as a parameter. Group files are amazing. They allow you to bundle up a wealth of resources stored in RAM and save it as a copy into the calculator's flash memory. This process is associated with memory management, so you'll find the Group option in the Memory menu. Create a name for the file. I'll call this one Family, as it will contain the family of lines currently stored in graphical database number 2 and some associated data in lists 5 and 6. The All Plus means that programs, variables, windows, etc. will all be bundled into a single group file. A bit like making a backup. I don't need everything, so I'll select All Minus, which allows me to select only the items that I want. Now that's been saved, I'll delete graphical database number 2 and clear off the lists. Now that's done, I can ungroup the file. My graphical database comes back. And so too all the data in the lists. Most of the calculator's commands that require specific syntax are supported with templates. However, from time to time you'll still find some that may leave you wondering. If you're not sure of the syntax, let's say for a command such as fmax, don't press enter, press the plus key to see the syntax. There are some powerful applications that come pre-installed with your TI-84 Plus CE calculator. Perhaps the most commonly used is PolySimult, a great tool for polynomial functions and simultaneous equations. The Transformation app is also very powerful, but for different reasons. This app allows you to explore parameters around two functions. I have a cubic function and corresponding tangent stored in a graphical database. The tangent is drawn at the midpoint of two of the cubic's x-intercepts. The cubic function and tangent are updated every time I change one of the parameters. Notice that the tangent always passes through the third x-intercept. That's some pretty cool mathematics explored through the use of the Transformations app. Sometimes when you're using a calculator, it would be great to be able to press a button to go back to your own personalized default settings. You can do this with programs like Word or PowerPoint or TI Inspire. You can press Control N and start a new document. On the TI-84 Plus CE, you can use the calculator's default settings, which does things like switch off graphs and scatter plots, but it also chooses a few settings that you may not want. And it doesn't replace lists that you may have inadvertently deleted or hidden. To customize your calculator quickly and easily, try writing a simple program that you can run at any time. I've called my program Startup. This program recalls a graphical database number zero. This is one that I've saved previously, which has no equations in the y equals editor. So when I run it, it clears all the equations and returns 
my default or favoured window settings. The second command, Setup Editor, retrieves any lists that may have been inadvertently deleted. It sets the angle to my preferred of degrees, and graphs function simultaneously rather than sequentially, and also switches the diagnostics on, so whenever I'm doing some regression, I automatically get my R squared value. This program took approximately 30 seconds to write, and takes about one second to run. So, from now on, if I want all of these settings back again, I simply run my default program, just like starting a new document. That's all for this session. If you have some cool tips and tricks when using your TI-84 plus CE calculator, be sure to add them into the comment section below, and maybe we could create another 10 great tips. Thanks for watching.